Hey guys, it's Amber. So today's video, I'm going to be showing you what I'm going to be taking with me for a month when I go back to Utah and the awesome carrier that I'm going to be putting everything in. So I actually got this carrier sent to me. This video is in no way sponsored. I'm not being paid, whatever. And this is an Amazon product. So you guys know that I kind of spilled the tea that some Amazon reviewers aren't as honest or not looking for honest reviews. And I was really pleased when this company, it's PE Beauty, reached out to me and they just wanted an unbiased review. They wanted honesty, no strings attached. They had an awesome product and I was like, yes, two thumbs up. This is their Vasker brand travel makeup bag. So this is the box that it comes in. And when it pulls out, it was wrapped in plastic, but I took it off already. But it's like super nice. Like I was not expecting it to be this nice. I was like, whoa, that is super nice. So it has a beautiful faux leather outside. It is waterproof and it has a zipper and a little handle right here that actually says Vasker Beauty. This is the small makeup bag. They actually carry one that's larger that you can wear as a backpack. And this is only 25 bucks on Amazon Prime. It literally came so fast, like in like a day, maybe two days. It was fast, fast shipping. I was super impressed. So when you open up inside, you have all these compartments right here. And I actually saw these and I was like, wow, they are not like flimsy compartments. Like I was expecting it to be, I don't know. I didn't know for 25 bucks. This is super sturdy. I was really impressed. It actually is made out of the same kind of material that I got in my makeup kit nail kit when I was in beauty school. So to me, it is a professional quality. Like it is really nice in here and it has a lot of big slots. So the things I love about this is you can set it down. I can put foundations and I can stack blushes. I can put basically anything I want to in here. And there's also a little room so it can zip up. You know, you might just think Amber, why do you need to bring so much makeup? Come on, it's me. Of course I need to bring some makeup. I wanna have lip glosses. I wanna have blush options. I wanna have different things to take with me. I haven't decided everything that I'm going to take with me yet, but I wanted to show you guys what the bag looks like first, and then I will turn the camera around and I'll put everything in and show you what it looks like. So now let me show you a few more of the features. So the next thing I absolutely loved is, look at this, brush storage. So here's these bags right here that you can just take your little brushes, slide them right in and they're completely covered. You can take all your brushes. They are protected right there. I was like, that is amazing. And if that wasn't good enough, then <laughs> you have this little zipper compartment right here. But I mean, I easily can take just a palette like this. I can slide that inside completely. Let's see one. If I want to take this Aura palette, I could fit that in there and Let's take my Naturalize from Too Faced, fit that in there. I got three palettes inside of this. Like I'm pretty happy about that right now. <laughs> of course, the more stuff you put in it, the more bigger it's gonna be, but it's all in here. It's all contained. So awesome. So I really don't need to bring three palettes. That's just for demonstration purposes only. I'll probably bring this one and one other one. All right, so now I have the challenging task to go through my makeup collection and figure out what I actually want to take with me. <gasps> What's gonna make the cut? I don't know. I'm gonna have to bring some project pen items. Um, I think I want to take this Aura palette because it's one that I could replace easily because it's not super expensive and it's got some nice colors in it. And I do think I want to take this Natural Eyes palette because of the metal tin and you basically get all the neutrals you would need. And let's be honest, this is probably what I'm gonna be wearing most of the time. So I'll probably be creating some looks with this palette while I'm gone. I am bringing my camera. We'll see what happens. Hopefully I can pull some videos. I can't bring my computer, so I'm at the mercy of whatever my mom's Windows Movie Maker can do for me, so wish me luck. I don't know if I can edit sound or, we'll see. Anyway, that's besides the point. So I'm gonna go through, pick everything, and then I will show you guys what I got. Alrighty, I finally went ahead and got this thing packed. As you can see, everything is fitting in here perfectly nice. I can carry it up by the handle, and it fits nicely inside my luggage. So now I'll show you everything that is in here. All right, so first off with the flap, you can go ahead and lift that up and here are some longer items and brushes. So I just went ahead to get 
I went with some brushes that weren't necessarily travel size, but weren't like super long brushes. So I got a couple of these Luxie brushes. I got my BoxyCharm and this e.l.f. contouring brush. And then I just got an assortment of some of my favorite blending brushes. Some of these little fine brushes. I like these for doing like cut creases and putting color on my inner corner and things like that. There are a myriad of brands from Moda, Morphe, Sedona Lace, e.l.f. It's just kind of a just kind of a random bunch. All right, and here I have my It Cosmetic CC Cream, and this is not a mascara that I really like. This is the Rimmel Scandalized Waterproof, but I bought it and I wear it if, you know, we're gonna be in the water. So here I have my Tarte Tardis Mascara, and then I have my It Cosmetics Brow Power, my Lancome Eyeliner, my NYX Epic Ink Eyeliner, and I'm gonna try this on, Jante Blue, this brown eyeliner. I thought I wanna do some looks with some brown eyeliner. And those fit perfectly in there. Uh, this mascara also fits down here, but I just kept it up here for continuity. But I mean, you of course could fill this whole thing up with brushes if you wanted to. So in this pouch here, I decided to take the Aura palette, the Too Faced Natural Eyes, and then I grabbed this little blink palette because I was like, you know what, this is going to be fun to have some shimmer shades. This is going to give me all those neutrals and the Aura palette. So I'm not going to be using my Pan That palette for this month. I'm just going to take a little bit of a break and I wanted to use some of these things. All right, so in here, I actually have more room that I could actually put other things if I wanted to, but I really just felt like I didn't need anything else to go in here. So I actually have more room, which is awesome. So I just have a Kabuki brush here so I can use this for bronzing up, powder, everything like that. I love that it's short handled. And I have a beauty blender in here. This is a little compact mirror and a, a little eyebrow pencil sharpener is down here. I'm gonna go through all the lip products in a second, but all my lipsticks are right here, most of them. Here I have a little color switch from AOA that helps clean your brushes. I have some of these Too Faced blushes that are mini sized. So I have Love Flush in Justify My Love and Love Hangover. Then I have my Dip Brow from Anastasia. Now this little highlighter, I don't really need, but I was like, man, I never really use this and it's so cute and little, I'm just gonna take it. But this is fun because it's kind of a duochrome and I thought, you know what? I don't know what kind of looks I'm gonna do, so maybe I'll do this because I will be filming. I've got this Project Pan Blush, Blush All Day from MAC. I've got my Hefty Highlight, which I really wanna focus on using this. And a little mini Smashbox photo finish. I didn't wanna bring the big primer. Then for my bronzer, I'm going to be taking this it does have a highlighter in there as well. This is the Lorac Tantalizer. And then my little L'Oreal Infallible. All right, so in the next compartment, I have this AOA Studios Setting Spray, this Alouette Face Paint. This does double as a cheek stain or lip stain. I've got a little tiny concealer. This is the It Cosmetics Buy by Under Eye. My eyelash curler, my powder, this is a e.l.f. Um, exfoliating lip stick. One of the ones that exfoliate your lips. I have this little Bite Beauty. I will go ahead and swatch these. This is in Lingonberry. I did a kind of crappy, crappy swatch, so I try to remove it. And of course, it stains. And this other side is Tangerine. These are really creamy lipsticks. They're really full pigmented. I really like them. I have an eye primer here and then a few liquid lipsticks. This is Extra from AOA. I'm bringing lots of options just because I don't know what kind of makeup looks I'm gonna be creating when I'm filming and I just wanna have options. This is Catnip from Anastasia and this is Roxy from AOA. And even though those look kind of similar this one it actually is a lot more brown than this one. I know it looks like they're exactly the same, but oh well. All right, so for the rest of my lipsticks, I have this one, Raspberry from Jordana. This is a berry color, but it's a little bit more sheer, kind of a good everyday 
no fuss color. I did grab a red just in case. I've got a couple. This is true red. This one is, again, something that's a little bit low maintenance as far as a red goes. This is grape. This is my Project Pan color, Wink for Pink, Revlon Pink. This is just one of those little magic chapsticks that change color to your lips. I just find it's kind of like a cutesy pink, but it doesn't come off like chalky. Benetton, you guys know what that looks like. And then these little Bite Beauty, these are the, these are the Mouge Bouche liquefied lipsticks. And this one is a really nice like neutral color. I love these because they're mini, but that's like a perfect nude. And then this is like my vivacious red. Look at that. It's like an orange red. It's like, it's really pretty. So I feel like there's some fun options there as far as lip colors. I don't have anything exceptionally dark, but for summer, I think I'd rather go with brights and lights and berries. And last but not least, I have foundation. I have my acne fighting foundation for a higher coverage and the e.l.f. flawless finish for a less coverage. And then down here, I do have an extra little blush. This is the HD blush and headliner. I just thought, you know what? I, I'm kind of liking the cream blush right now. So I thought I'd try that. And then these are some samples of foundation I got from Sephora. So I'm actually going to be doing some wear tests for you guys. And I didn't have to purchase anything. So it's kind of a win-win. Still doing the no buy without having to buy. But I can still give you guys my thoughts and opinions. But I want to be able to wear it like the entire day and put them on side by side and kind of do a thorough review. So I'm gonna do that once I'm there. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed seeing everything I put into my beauty case. I will make sure to link their Amazon store down below. Thanks so much for PE Beauty for sending this to me. I truly love this. And I hope you guys know that I don't BS on my channel. I don't tell you guys things that I don't really love. When I'm genuinely excited about this, it's because I really, really am. <laughs> like this is perfect timing and I love that it's like sturdy, hard-sided, it ain't going anywhere. My makeup is gonna be safe and sound and I'm just so grateful for that. So anyway, thank you guys so much again for joining me and I'll see you guys next time.